Quantitative study designs are classified into several categories according to number of contacts with the population, reference period or time frame of the study, nature of the study. According to the number of contacts with the population, quantitative study designs are classified as cross-sectional studies, one contact, before and after studies, two contacts, and longitudinal studies, three or more contacts. According to the reference period of the study, quantitative study designs are classified as retrospective, prospective, retrospective, prospective. According to the nature of the study, quantitative study designs are classified as experimental studies, non-experimental studies, semi-experimental studies. Cross-sectional studies are observational studies that aim to find the prevalence of the problem or phenomenon by taking random representative samples cross-section from the population. They are commonly used to measure the prevalence and describe features of the population. Since cross-sectional studies have one contact with the study population, they are cheap to conduct and easy to analyse. Disadvantages of cross-sectional studies include they cannot assess the incidence, study rare cases, make a casual inference. If you want to measure variables using cross-sectional studies, you must conduct two cross-sectional studies on the same population. Before and after studies are studies of two cross-sectional data collections on the same population in a specific period. They are also known as pre-test, post-test designs. Before and after studies are commonly used in evaluation studies. They are useful to measure the impact or effectiveness of programs. They help to measure changes in the problem or phenomena by comparing the variables before and after an intervention. Disadvantages of before and after studies include more expensive and more difficult to conduct, the study population or measurement instruments may be changed in the gap between the two contacts. They measure the total change only so you can't detect whether this change is caused by independent or extraneous variables. In longitudinal studies, you contact the study population multiple times at regular intervals, so they are regarded as repetitive cross-sectional studies. Longitudinal studies are used to assess the extent pattern of change in the problem or phenomenon relating to time. The disadvantages of longitudinal studies include the repetitive and continuing contact needs high accuracy. The repetitive contact makes individuals of the study population know and expect study questions which may decrease their interest or affect their answers. This disadvantage is called the conditioning effect. The retrospective design studies problems or phenomena that occurred in the past. Retrospective studies are conducted according to past data or recall. The prospective design studies problems or phenomena to project their prevalence or outcome in the future. The retrospective prospective design studies problems or phenomena that occurred in the past and projects their prevalence or outcome in the future.
experimental studies start from the cause to find its effects. They can be conducted in a controlled environment or a natural environment. Their study population can be selected randomly. Randomization means any individual in a population can be considered as a test or a control, equally and independently. Non-experimental studies start from the effect to find its cause. Semi-experimental studies contain experimental and non-experimental parts. Thank you.